There's lots that's hot down in Southern Florida, where you find amazing numbers of plants and animals in Everglades National Park. Living large is what the park is all about. Think about the size of a typical suburban yard. There's enough room in Everglades Park to fit six million of them. Sizing up this so-called river of grass might require some aerial recon. One of the must-dos at Everglades is hopping an ultralight over the 10,000 island section of the park on the Gulf Coast. The combination swamp, wetland, an oversized lake below your feet stretches from horizon to horizon. With 700 species of plants and animals, this is one massive combination platter of life that inhabits the land, the water, and the air. Some creatures would look at home next to dinosaurs, and some of them actually did. Crocs and gators have been slinking around marshlands for over 200 million years. American gators live throughout the South, but crocs are only in southern Florida. Unlike most reptiles, mother gators help their hatchlings take baby steps towards the water before they become snack food. The 99-mile canoe trail, yes, canoe trail, gives you a chance to spot some of those that didn't get eaten. These big boys can reach nearly 1,000 pounds. Two of them would outweigh a smart car, and they're a nightmare to park. There are over 50 species of reptile in the Everglades. Since most of the park is water, it's no shock that a lot of residents prefer to fly. There are over 300 species of birds. Good luck keeping track of how many you see. You've got fashionably pink spoonbills and the rare but magnificent bald eagles. Although no longer endangered, there are still only 6,000 mating pairs in the U.S. You've got owls, cranes, storks, egrets, blue heron, osprey, hawks, ducks, and vultures to clean up the scraps. Even the bugs out here are spectacular. There are hundreds of miles of trails to explore, but you'll want to do that mostly from December through March to beat the heat and humidity. No matter what time of year you come, the Everglades will slow you down. It's a quiet place, peaceful and protected. One reason why it's home to the king of mellow, the manatee. You hear that early European sailors mistook these grazing sea cows for mermaids, but wow, must have been a long time at sea. By air, by water, or on foot, Everglades National Park is a top draw for dedicated swamp rats. The crocs and the gators are an absolute must-see.